welcome to the weekend edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs, the most hardcore bodybuilding supplements on the market. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Friday, February 27th, 2015, and let's get to it. They say with age comes wisdom, but if your name is Branch Warren, apparently with age comes intensity. Despite the fact that he's set to turn 40 this coming Saturday, the Texas Titan is in the gym hitting it as hard as ever in preparation for next weekend's events. With two Arnold Classic statues already lining his trophy case, Warren is among the most decorated athletes in the contest's prestigious history. But outrunning Father Time and securing another title this year would be his most impressive feat yet of surely will be a Hall of Fame career. Just days away from her third consecutive appearance at the Arnold Classic, Aunt Tony doesn't appear to be showing any signs of slowing down. Over the last two years, Tony has been one of the most dominant athletes in the figure division. And after fourth place finishes at both the Olympia and Arnold Classic in 2014, Tony is training like a woman who's hell-bent on one thing, leaving Columbus, Ohio with an Arnold Classic victory on her resume. With a wasp-sized waist, perfectly sculpted delts, and a classic X-frame, Tony is a force to be reckoned with on any stage. And if she brings in the same level of conditioning we saw at last year's Dallas Europa Super Show, she'll make it very tough for the judges to deny her the title she so desperately seeks. There's a lot of speculation about who's going to emerge from a crowded race at the top of the men's physique division next week. But it looks like Sadiq Hodzovic is doing his part to quiet some of the conversation. With just days remaining till the pilgrimage to Columbus, Ohio, Hodzovic looks to have surpassed his look at last year's Olympia, a look that many believe to be his all-time best. Over the last two years, Sadiq has really added a considerable amount of muscle to his frame while managing to come in tighter at every contest. But after the puzzling decisions at last year's Olympia, it does raise the question of whether or not the judges believe Hodzovic is coming in too big and too hard. Only time will tell for sure. Stay tuned for up-to-the-minute coverage of the entire Arnold Fitness Weekend exclusively at rxmuscle.com. Daniel Toth doesn't look like he's been missing too many meals lately. Earlier in the week, pictures surfaced of an impressively full-looking Toth that were taken at a recent photo shoot. From a muscularity standpoint, Toth packs plenty of thick, grainy mass onto his frame, but throughout his career, his Achilles heel has been being beaten by competitors with better shape and structure. If Toth has made the necessary improvements and refinements to his physique this offseason, his 2015 debut should be met with a ton of shock and awe. Despite what hype we may try to drum up in the media, in reality, there aren't many surprises in bodybuilding. But back in 2004 at the IFBB Russian Grand Prix, a 26-year-old phenom by the name Alexander Fedorov surprised the hell out of the bodybuilding world by swooping in from out of nowhere to give both Ronnie Coleman and Jay Cutler all they could handle. Shortly after the contest, Fedorov was billed as the next great superstar, but a series of injuries and less than stellar performances caused the Russian champ to fade away as quickly as he appeared. But nearly a decade later, Fedorov might be on the verge of a comeback. New footage of the Russian muscle machine has surfaced and shows Fedorov looking as big and freaky as ever. And while we haven't heard of any official plans of a return to the stage, it would be interesting to see if Fedorov could ever recapture some of the magic that made him the talk of the bodybuilding world all those years ago. And finally, don't miss tonight's special episode of Iron Debate, featuring the women of the fitness view. Find out where host Nancy Norman, Gigi Amora, and Brooke Cook stand on the latest topics in the fitness world. You can catch this special edition of Iron Debate at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard, live, exclusively at rxmuscle.com. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs, the most hardcore bodybuilding supplements on the market. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.